Good evening, everyone, and thank you for joining us for tonight's virtual community meeting. My name is Ryan Perlman with Houston Public Works, and the object of tonight's meeting is to provide information of what you can expect during the construction of the Magnolia Park Section 2 Phase 1B project. Before we begin, I would kindly ask if you could hold all your questions until the end, as many of your questions will be answered in the body of the presentation. Now that we have your attention, be sure to stay until the end of our presentation. We have a live question and answer segment where you can ask questions and get them answered by our amazing project team. Here at Houston Public Works, we believe that together we create a strong foundation for Houston to thrive. Houston Public Works is comprised of five service lines, with tonight's meeting being presented by Capital Projects. This particular project is in Council District I, and your council member is. Joaquin Martinez. Up next, we have our Assistant Director for Capital Projects, Tanu Hiramuth. She will introduce the team responsible for this project. Welcome, Tanu. Thank you, Ryan. Good evening, everybody. Uh, we're super excited to bring this project uh, to you, um, and thank you all for joining us uh, this evening. Uh, I would like to introduce our project team from the City of Houston uh, project team. We have uh, Juan Brandon, who's a managing engineer over this project, uh, Daryl Burel, our project manager, and Robert Tolliver, who's from our project inspection team. Uh, we also have our consultants um, joining us today, Corbin Fenley. Jason Eldridge is with us. He's the engineer of record. And we also have our construction team, Mainland um, Industries, and uh, we have uh, Heather and Ryan from Main Mainland Industries today. Uh, our construction management and inspection is provided by FCM engineers, and we have Jeff Chikwu with us today. Thank you all, and I hand it back to Ryan. Thank you, Tanu. So let's talk about this project, how to prepare for construction and who to contact. Houston Public Works is committed to building forward and not building back the same way. This drainage project provides for the construction of storm drainage improvements, necessary concrete paving, curbs, sidewalks, driveways, and underground utilities. This 17.9 million drainage project is scheduled to begin in April and anticipated to be completed in the spring of 2025. The project schedule will, be, will depend on weather conditions. The contractor will work Monday to Saturday from 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. However, extenuating circumstances may require limited work to take place outside of the standard hours. The contractor is Mainline Industries and the project manager is Daryl Burrell. The project includes improvements to the area storm sewer, sidewalks, and new concrete pavement. According to these numbers, this is a very important project. This project includes new paving, storm lines, sidewalks, water and wastewater lines. The streets affected will include Baltimore Street, Capitol Street, Dayton Street, South 77 to South 80th Street. The design features on this project include retaining walls and speed cushions shown here in the map. This exhibit illustrates where the 26 trees to be planted in the green. For a closer look, please go to the project page on engagehouston.org. There are total Excuse me. There are a total of four construction phases to this project. Phase one in green begins in spring 2024 to summer 2024. 
Phase two and teal is summer 2024 to fall 2024. Phase three and orange is fall 2024 to winter 2025. And the final phase in yellow is spring 2025 to summer 2025. So what do the seasons mean? Our construction timeline is as follows. Winter constitutes January, February, March. Spring is April, May, June. Summer is July, August, September. And fall is October, November, December. So for this project, we will start in spring of 2024 and it is to be completed spring 2025. What to anticipate during these construction phases? Our advice is to organize, don't agonize. So if you prepare for instruction, the time it takes to complete will fly by. The first step is to getting organized is to keep your door notification. The door notifications contain pertinent contact information in case you have further questions or concerns. If your dog ate the door hanger, no worries. You can go to the project page online and view the information there at engagehouston.org. If you have objects in the right of way, please remove them now as soon as possible. If you have specific landscaping that you would like to be saved, we suggest you relocate such as plant such as plant materials now. Grass will be restored in areas upon completion of all construction. For most properties in the areas, the City of Houston project right of way will extend about two feet from back of curb. As a result, of this and related capital improvement projects, the city and the contractors are granted full access into this right of way. Once complete, the contract is required to restore the impacted area of the grounds to the city of Houston standards. So again, if you have objects in the right of way, please remove them as soon as possible. The contractor has a restoration plan for all properties. Once the project is complete, the city contractor is required to restore the impacted area to city standards. Restoration typically starts once the project is complete. The city does not approve final payment to the contractor until, uh, sorry, until they complete their own assessment and ensure the restoration is sufficient. We recommend that you document current conditions by taking pictures of your property of the right of way and near the street and curb. The pictures should resolve any questions when it comes time to for the contractor to repair or place any items. Please be aware and obey all construction signs and barriers. Safety is priority number one for everyone involved in this project. For your safety and ours, please pay attention to the following safety objects shown here. Now I have good news and better news. For only a short period of time, you may lose water and wastewater services when the contractor is making reconnections. But the better news is that they will provide a 72 hours advance notice before they reconnect. Trees to be removed are identified on the tree protection plan. Trees that will be removed, including diseased trees, dying trees, or trees that conflict with new pavement. The city of Houston has identified trees that can be preserved during construction on a case-by-case -case basis. The project will typically require, typically require one lane of closure. The other lane will be for traffic and generally be one way only. Residents are encouraged to drive cautiously and pay attention to traffic control signage and construction workers. This project also involves removing and replacing damaged concrete sidewalks. Asphalt and concrete driveways will be replaced with concrete driveways to the right of way to city standards. There is a traffic control plan posted to the project page on nkhouston.org for viewing. The project will replace streets as well as replace driveway aprons and add new sidewalk in the front area. Some properties have excessively sloped driveways. The city will contact these property owners to request permission to reconstruct additional driveway beyond the right of way. 
on the private property to allow more gradual driveway slopes. Driveway aprons will be replaced during construction. Driveway access will be impacted for several days during the driveway reconstruction process. The contractor will give 72 hours notice in advance of working on a driveway. Street lights will be added to the existing wood poles in some circumstances as part of the project. We encourage you to go to engagehouston.org to view additional project details and take a closer look at the exhibits shared with you today. The project page includes additional exhibits, the traffic control plan, the tree protection plan, right at your fingertips. And now a brief demo on how to navigate your way on engagehouston.org. Welcome to EngageHouston.org, your hub for connecting with fellow Houstonians and staying informed about neighborhood transformations. Our user-friendly platform is designed to keep you engaged and informed. Explore our site with ease. Access key project types, drainage, street, wastewater, and water. Join community meetings with a click. Share important updates on social media or through private messages. Project pages. Discover detailed project information, interactive maps, FAQs, and useful widgets on each project page. Subscribe to specific projects for email notifications on updates, access documents, recordings, videos, and team info. Engage with us. For direct communication, use the Engage Us tool after registering. Ask questions and our team will respond promptly. Register now to unlock exclusive tools and features. It's easy. Create a username, answer a few questions, and confirm your email. Get ready to maximize EngageHouston.org. Welcome aboard. Welcome to Know the contractor. They're your first point of contact. They're the boots on the ground every day. They're capable, capable of assisting you immediately. Remember, Main Lane Industries contact information will be on your door notification and on the project page of the frequently asked questions posted on engagehouston.org. Project updates will be posted to the project page on engagehouston.org as they become available. So please subscribe. We encourage you to call 311 if you have a concern. You can report online, email, or yes, there is an app for that. It's not just for problems though. We always like to hear if our contractors are doing a great job, so please share that information with us as well. I wanna thank Councilmember Martinez and the District I staff for their support today. Thank you to New Harmouth and her awesome project team for their participation and support. Thanks to the fabulous public engagement team for making this meeting possible. And finally, to all of you who have joined us to receive this information on this project. Thank you for your time and attention. Please remember to share what you've heard today with your friends and neighbors. Remember to visit engagehouston.org if you have any questions, comments, or to view project updates. And now it's Q&A time. Being present has its benefits because you will get your questions answered in real time by the fantastic project team. Take advantage now and ask away. The project team is here to answer your questions about this project. This is also a great opportunity to share your thoughts and feedback in regards to this exciting construction. To submit your questions, please follow these easy steps on the screen. Click on the Q&A button icon located on the right side. It's the bubble with the question mark. Type your question in the text box and hit send. You can choose to ask your question anonymously if you prefer. We also encourage you to include your name and email address with your questions, especially if they require further research. While we're waiting for your questions, remember that this is just the start of the Q&A process. 
If you have more questions or comments after tonight's meeting, please visit us at engagehouston.org. Go to the project page, and at the bottom, you can submit your questions or comments. We're committed to following up with you. Also, all the materials presented in tonight's meeting are available on our website for your reference. So let's dive into your questions. All right. Okay, I have a question. Let's see. All right, so I have an eight, two 80 plus year olds on South 80th Street that sometimes require fire truck assistance. Elderly, if the elderly falls, will they still be able to get to them? I'll take that one. Um, okay. Typically, we do not block accesses uh, during construction. I believe if there's somebody from mainland, they can talk about your access uh, management, but typically on our projects, we do not block access. There's always uh, there's a requirement that we maintain the emergency vehicles and uh, uh, access free for them to be able to reach whoever they need to reach. If the con construction team wants to add to it, uh, please go ahead. Uh, this is Jeff Chuku, FCM Engineers. Yes, you are very correct with regards to uh, having an egress and egress to the uh, all properties at all times. However, if there's need for emergency vehicle, uh, we'll also make provisions, make sure that we don't have equipment that will hinder access for emergency vehicle to uh, get to the property in question. And we'll work uh, continuously with the contractor, monitor his uh, work and make sure that all the uh, properties have access at all times. All right, thank you, Jeff. OK, we have another question. My question is about the street markers. That are made out of cement, will they be preserved and installed later? Yeah. Okay. Well, let's keep when we did uh, this is job again, <clears throat> when we did the uh, phase one or uh, one A, we uh, were able to uh, you know uh, take out all the monuments that were that we discovered and put it aside, and the contractor uh, at the end of the project uh, reinstalled it. Thanks, Jeff. All right, we have another question that came in. How would the trash pickup work during construction? Would we be told where to place our trash recycle bins? There should be no uh, disturbance to the routine uh, trash pickup. If there is a need when they're replacing your driveways, that would be the only time that we would see that uh, there needs to be any coordination on where to put the trash. But otherwise, uh, it should pretty much stay clear because you would you are going to have access to your property, so the trash can be placed there. And like we said, we we are going to maintain access to all vehicles in and out, so there shouldn't be disruption. The only time we anticipate is when the driveway is actively being constructed. Uh, maybe there'll be a coordination at that time from the construction team on what to do about the trash. Uh, this is Jeff again. Additionally to what uh, Temu said, is, uh, which is correct, is that sometimes we, during a roadway excavation, where we excavate one lane, because this uh, neighborhood streets are really a two, two lane streets. So you can only walk at one lane, one lane at a time. So uh, when we're doing the other one, uh, which is typical of any uh, neighborhood streets, uh, the property that is on the side of where we have excavations are encouraged to move their trash to the other side of the street because the vehicles cannot access their property when uh, the roadway is excavated and exposed. So they can move it on the other side of the street on, uh, for, for, to make it easier for the uh, trash pickup at the end of the day. Thanks, Jeff. 
All right, we have another comment in reference to the street markers. It's uh, really not a question. It says, please identify the street markers you have marked as we want to confirm the number that will be preserved. Hmm. OK, we'll make note of that. All right, do we have any more questions? Let's see, this now is the opportunity to ask away. We have the project team here. Okay, let's see. All right, here's a question. How will we know? Uh, all right, I'm gonna switch to another question, okay. All right, here we go. How will we know when improvements are complete and the work is done? Well, uh, once we finish the project, uh, we'll go through uh, inspection, uh, so substantial work through, final inspection, and also uh, uh, notify the uh, council member of our inspection uh, schedules so that uh, through the council member they can also engage the neighborhood if there's any anybody in the neighborhood that's interested uh, with the uh, final inspection then uh, they will be aware of it yeah. all right thanks jeff <laughs> All right, so I have a question about the grass. Um, will grass, will the grass be replaced when the project is completed? Uh, not necessarily when the project is completed, but as we go on, as we move on, we um, we do restoration as we go, not at the completion of the project. So for whatever street we are engaged on, once we finish that street, we, uh, proceed with restoration of the, the grass at the same time. All right, thank you, Jeff. And I think that concludes our question and answer segment. And that concludes our virtual community meeting. Be sure to visit EngageHouston.org for more information and updates on this project. Thanks again to all our contributors for making this meeting a success, and thank you all for joining.